This video is about the quasi-equilibrium. Quasi-equilibrium is a concept. It's about a process. A quasi-equilibrium process is a slow process. It's slow so that every, at every point in this process, the system is very, very close to being in equilibrium. We can draw a solid line to represent the process, for example, on a PV diagram. Now, if you have a very, very fast process, for example, uncontrolled expansion of uh, gas in a system, and that process is too fast for us to consider the system to be in uh, a state that's very close to uh, equilibrium. Now, such a rapid process is no longer a quasi-equilibrium process or quasi-static process. So the state of the system is not well defined at every point in a process. And we often use a dashed line to represent such a process. Now here's an example of a, uh, what we call a quasi-equilibrium process. Imagine you have a gas or liquid system that's trapped in a piston cylinder enclosure. That's the gray textured part of a the diagram of the schematic and it's in a cylinder which is in the, the black bolt lines and the, the piston enclosure the piston is is painted in in blue and there's a weight that's um, shown as a uh, as a grid representing multiple small pieces of uh, weights here we can remove the uh, the mass from the piston so as to change the condition of the system that's trapped inside the piston cylinder enclosure. Now you can idealize the, uh, the process so that the, uh, this, uh, the change of the, of the state of the system is very slow and at, very, at, at every step in this change the system is very close to being in equilibrium even though it's not exactly in equilibrium when the process when the process is going on so that's a example of a, a quasi equilibrium process and the, hence the concept of a quasi equilibrium so the concept of a quasi equilibrium process allows us to plot a such a process on the diagram so that we can analyze such a process mathematically. Um, it is for this reason we have to define such a concept quasi-equilibrium and then we uh, assume many processes to be quasi-equilibrium processes so we can analyze them. And later in the uh, reversibility part of um, the thermodynamics course, we will see this quasi-equilibrium process also has something to do with reversible processes or the concept of reversibility.